well, since uh, our uh, Chinese ingenuity has really lowered the bar as far as price and quality goes, these uh, are going for less than 400 bucks on eBay now, so I couldn't resist. This is the K40 uh, 40 watt CO2 uh, laser etcher cutter, which uh, all in all I'm actually pretty happy with, but there were three, three major issues uh, that I had to deal with. It, it basically worked out of the box. Uh, one of the first things I noticed was that uh, cutting on the left side was okay, cutting on the right side was a bit on the weak side, so of course the I found the mirrors were slightly out of alignment. Uh, it's not too hard to realign. I actually found that the uh, the beam was coming in a bit to the left, or excuse me, on the right side of the hole, which is putting it way off. <clears throat> Using the uh, uh, some alignment procedures for these mirrors, this one and the one back in the back, I was able to get it actually spot on just using little thermal tape and uh, adjusting very, very, very carefully. Uh, basically, if you have a spot over here that's off to the right and back here it's off to the left, it means your beam is skewed a little bit to this side, to the right of being absolutely parallel. So you would adjust this screw back here, which adjusts right and left. The one on the bottom here would adjust up and down. And this diagonal one, which I actually used, would do both at the same time. Uh, that was the first issue. I used it for a long time before realigning it. Uh, I've heard a lot of people complain about Moshi Draw just suddenly locking up and not responding. <clears throat> that happened to me exactly twice. Uh, twice in one session, one night I was making a uh, a ceramic uh, label for a wife's garden and it got halfway through and just bang stopped. So what I've heard is that you go in and very carefully reseat this unidentified 40 pin dip very carefully. The leads are fragile. Looks like it's already been in and out a couple of times. Um, you just pull that out and be very careful not to bend the pins as they will probably break off before too many more bends and get them reseated back in. I have not had a problem since. I, I bought this originally thinking I'd rip out the Moshi draw on the board and replace it with you know Linux CNC or Tiny G or something but I've been using it and it basically works. Third thing is not a quality issue it's just a missing feature. If you're going to be cutting wood you will want to get this little upgrade here from uh, lightobjects.com. They're inexpensive, less than 20 bucks. Uh, it's air assist. If you try to cut, um, you can cut quarter inch thick aspen, uh, poplar, which are nice woods. Cut quarter inch thick, two passes at five millimeters per second. But without air assist, they will catch fire. You're basically cutting wood with a blowtorch, very thin, thin fine, hot beam and it constantly catches fire. Uh, you put this baby on here, I'm still working on a good air supply. I'm just using a cheap little air mattress inflator, keeping in, in theme with ultra cheap. It's the uh, super happy battery air pump. Uh, it basically works. Uh, one other thing is people point out the, the air pump back here doesn't fit uh, seal up exactly tight so just some duct tape you just seal it up, get it good and work, and then with those three things, mirror alignment, uh, reseating the chip, adding in an inexpensive air assist, I'm extremely happy with what I can do for such dang, bang little cost. So that's my experience.